hard to do. Because uh, I got to use two hands here, one to index the head, and I use this right here to uh, take it out. And then I got to put my elbow down on here to get the work head to go up and down. So, um, sweeping this mud out. In absence of a excavator to crib it, this is uh, our only option at certain places for now. To get the mud, at least I can't get the insides of the cribs out, but I can get the outsides out. And it's not a perfect solution. <coughs> it's a, a temporary decent solution until we can get down here and get this tripped out correctly. Get the inside out. And after I'm done with this side, I will come over here and get outside over on this side. Sweep it out. And I will dump fresh rock and I'll tamp it. So. Had the regulator come up here and cut the cut the shoulder out for me, and he'll come back. He'll clean it out again before we dump rock. It's called sweeping out ties. So it's a decent temporary fix. At least I'll have some pretty good rock on the outsides and drainage, really good drainage on the outsides. Uh oh, hit the rail on that one, got in a little too far. by the spot yesterday had to do this it was actually right beside my uh, I didn't get it cribbed out yet and it was right beside my excavator with the cribbing bucket on it but the uh, track split on my excavator so pay attention here I had to do this as a temporary fix <clears throat> I had to get parts I got a new track and went to put it on, it would not go on. And here the track adjusting cylinder was froze up. So, I got new track adjusting cylinders at $800 a piece. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get the, get the track on here pretty soon. Okay. what it looks like. Got a good bit of it out. Good bit of it out on the edges. So. better here. This is a little bit more difficult for me to do, holding this uh, bow with the right hand. And I just uh, could not figure out how to get this phone uh, clamped on here so I could use both hands. It goes a little bit faster with both hands. Get a little better view there, I think. Ah!
Engineer, you gotta do what you gotta do with what the equipment you got to work with. It's not real muddy right in this little spot, but it gets muddier as we go up here. I'm here, I might as well get a uh, good bit. I got a couple joints back here. Wanted to uh, get that taken care of. Joints. Sorry about being shaky. So I gotta use my right hand here to uh, move this out. Work head go out, and I gotta use my uh, forearm to get the work head down, and I gotta use the right hand over here. So I'm holding this bow with the uh, right hand, that's why it's a little bouncing around there. Really kind of awkward for me to do it this way. different sweeping out ties with the tamper I bet uh, I bet not too many of you guys ever saw this Okay, I'm going to get off here and uh, we'll be back with more. Okay, there you have it. Got both sides swept up. Now he's going to come up here and shove as much of that as he can off of the uh, side. There, rainy day. This is a good job doing a rainy day. I'm going to get stopped here. And the ballast car is right down below us down here. We're right above bridge four. track also we're right at this point right here we got a little bit of a line of alignment problem not bad at all so we're going to do that here our uh, just made a clamp our liner needles in the green so we're in good shape now let's clamp here our uh, we've got a two inch lift on the track and we're going through that mud spot okay jack beam up there pick it up This is a little bit awkward for me because I got to hold this phone with one hand while I work two buttons with the other hand. So it's a little bit slow. Plus I got to watch these needles. I can go pretty quick with two hands. I gotta figure out a good mount for this camera. I tried one, but it was a little shaky.
Lighter needles staying in the green, that's good. center of those ties and I index the head. button right here is what I push down to make the work heads go up and down and this is what I push to make it go forward and I push that it automatically unclamps I get a light over here it says I'm clamped work heads down and you got to watch your tie spacings and you got to watch your needles and you got to watch your jack beam and you gotta watch where you're at on the plot up here. A lot of things to watch, plus all these hydraulic hoses. Gotta look up at them every now and then, make sure one's not busted. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna get off of this little right here for, uh, for now and get back to work with two hands, go a little faster. Okay, we'll be back. I'll show you the final product here in a minute. Okay. Make one pass through it here. Looking pretty good. Got one more pass. Got a little bit of a line spot down there. I'm not happy with. Um, but it's further on down. I might not even be able to see it from this view. Ain't real bad. It's nothing out of the code of fed specs. But anyway, ha! <laughs> It'll ride pretty nice right now. So uh, right here's the mud hole. And it's looking really, really good. I'll probably come back, uh, let the train run over this for a week or two, come back and uh, tamp it again. We're going into bridge four, we're on curve 27 right now. About mile post uh, 6.4. Okay. <laughs> I got something else I want to show you. Well, let me turn this on. My air conditioner. Look at what temperature the air is blowing out. 90 degrees. Uh, a little warm in here. So I got the doors open. So, cab room. 103, 104. It's time to quit tamping for the day. The air conditioner was guy was in here two days ago, uh, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna have to come back because uh, this old boy's done tamping for today. All right, all right, we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna get picked up and head back to uh, get the little cooler area for the rest of the afternoon. It's gonna be up to 90 today. So I'm not gonna be in here anymore than I have to do for the rest of today. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope, uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, today's episode. <laughs> I got my earplugs in, and it's a little... There, that's better. It's really hard for me to hear myself. <laughs> it's kind of a weird sound. But, okay, thank you again very much for watching. Hope you have a really good day. And I hope your air conditioner works wherever you're at. All right. Happy rails to you. <laughs> <laughs>